whenever you are exposed to an environment that's characterized by unfamiliar motion and orientational clues, you are potentially subject to motion sickness. This is a normal response and can occur in a variety of situations. In an automobile, a boat, an aircraft, amusement park, a simulator, or even in a space vehicle. There are many signs and symptoms associated with motion sickness. Here are some of the most common symptoms. Increased salivation and swallowing, stomach awareness, nausea, vomiting, cold sweat, apathy, drowsiness, increased yawning, headache, and dizziness. The symptoms of motion sickness are usually progressive. The first symptom that occurs is that the desire for food is lost. Then saliva collects in the mouth and perspiration begins. Eventually nausea and disorientation occur. Headaches are common and there is a tendency to vomit. If air sickness becomes severe enough, a pilot can become completely incapacitated. Motion sickness is uncommon among experienced pilots, but is more common among student pilots and passengers. Studies have shown that some people are more susceptible to air sickness than others. There are several factors that can increase a person's susceptibility to motion sickness. These include fatigue, alcohol, drugs, medications, stress, illness, anxiety, fear, and insecurity. Reduced mental activity during exposure to an unfamiliar motion has been implicated as a predisposing factor for motion sickness. Pilots who keep their mental focus on the task of flying are less likely to be affected by motion sickness because their attention is occupied. A good example of this effect is when a student pilot at the controls does not get airsick, but the experienced instructor, the one doing the monitoring and not at the controls, does become air sick. Right plane. Okay. Motion sickness can be extremely uncomfortable and impairing to any pilot. During flight, it can jeopardize a pilot's proficiency and safety. Flying operations which require peak pilot performance should be exercised with extreme caution if air sickness has become a factor. Examples are instrument flight conditions, equipment malfunctions, emergencies, final approach, and landing. A pilot who is susceptible to motion sickness should not take any prescription or over-the-counter medications that eliminate motion sickness. Such medications can cause drowsiness or can affect brain functions in other ways. Research shows that anti-motion sickness medication can cause a temporary deterioration of navigational skills and can hamper other tasks that demand keen judgment. A method that has proven effective in decreasing one's susceptibility to air sickness is simply to increase exposure to flying conditions. In other words, fly more often. This will make you less likely to develop air sickness. If motion sickness should occur when you are piloting an aircraft, there are some helpful tips that can lower the discomfort. Open the air vents. Loosen any tight-fitting clothing. Use supplemental oxygen. Keep your eyes focused on a point outside the aircraft. Place your head against the seat's headrest and try to avoid any unnecessary head movements. When possible, cancel the flight and land the aircraft. Most people know if they are prone to air sickness. However, there is no known preventive or adequate treatment that's considered sufficiently effective without undesirable side effects for a pilot. Much research continues to be conducted, some of which suggests that there is a greater chance of becoming airsick if one flies with an empty stomach. Simple foods that are tolerated well are recommended. In addition, adequate fluid intake is also important. There is no doubt that currency with your flying, 
Self-confidence and familiarity with the aircraft are the best ways to avoid motion sickness. When people are exposed to an environment that's characterized by unfamiliar motion and orientational cues, they are potentially subject to motion sickness. The symptoms of motion sickness are usually progressive. Motion sickness is typically uncommon among experienced pilots, but is more common among student pilots and passengers. Factors that can increase a person's susceptibility to motion sickness include fatigue, alcohol, drugs, medications, stress, illness, anxiety, fear, and insecurity. Pilots who keep their mental focus on the task of flying are less likely to be affected by motion sickness because their attention is occupied. A pilot who is susceptible to motion sickness should not take any medications designed to avoid motion sickness as they can cause drowsiness or can affect brain functions in other ways. Remember, flight currency, self-confidence and familiarity with the aircraft are the best ways to avoid motion sickness.